Talk one-on-one. One -on -one. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. Ooh. We be on fire, we be lit lit. lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Hey. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Ooh. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Huh. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Moses, by the way, and we create content every damn day. Hey, man, we got our favorite guy in here today, man. I got my guy in here today. Y'all in trouble, man. Charleston White in the building. Hey, what's up with it, man? Man, it's good to see you, man. I, I tell you, man, every time I think about it, I say, man, I need to get Charleston White back on here, man. And I just be tripping because at the end of the day, I can't, I be interviewing a lot of people, Charleston. Yeah, and, yeah, but, yeah. But yours is the most impactful uh, that I got. Yeah, I yeah. can't find nobody to beat you. I done drove to Houston. I done drove, been to California. You're, yeah. <laughs> I done been everywhere, and I can't figure it out. But it's just the favor of God to me yeah. that I know already that's where that's that's what he's showing me, you know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, le my legs done got longer uh, since the last time I've been. I keep, I keep knocking my knees up against the table right here, man. Uh, so different, man. Man, my yeah, wife got different. new chairs, man. She went on and bought us. We, we could afford a new chair, too. So she done changed the chairs okay. up on yeah, us, man. Yeah, something different, man. Say, man, you got this merch here today, man. That's what I, I really, I'm like, man, this boy got some merchandise. Now, I want to ask you a few questions about it, man. I already, I seen this one coming. Texas, nigga, I knew that this one was going to come. Yeah, but yeah. But the other ones I didn't see coming, and I, I Got all 50 state nigga. That's what I said. Yeah, I yeah. seen that. And yeah. I remember you told me in Vegas, and I was like, man, that's dope. But you didn't only just say it, you did it, man. And the tagging is right. I tell all these young niggas when they used to bring me shirts over here, make sure your tagging is right, man, so it staples the fact that it's yours. Well, you that's, know? that's the game I got up in Vegas. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, yeah, 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 yeah. When you took me to Vegas. Yeah, yeah. Man. So, yeah, I was listening and taking notes and paying attention. Yeah, man, this, this here, like I said, the way these shirts look, they package right. Um, you know, so so what? And is this is a wash shirt. Yeah, this motherfucker here done been washed. Twice. That's washed. Yeah, this done been. Are washed you twice. serious? Yeah, boy, that hoe was glistening. I, you know, we were carding a while ago, yeah. man. I couldn't believe. I was telling her. I say that red hidden, man. Yeah, it done been washed twice, man. Really? Uh, so how did you how did you come about picking? How did you go about picking what you what material you used and and who you dealt with? You know? Oh uh, man, I, I got a. a I don't want to give up my source. Yeah, I get it. Uh, I get but, it. But just but, give me, but, just give me some hints, but, man. But, uh, I got, I got a partner that's been in, 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 in the t-shirt making business for, for twenty years now. Okay. And, and, and he's doing very, very well, uh, in Texas. He's doing very, very well in Texas, man. Probably two to three thousand dollars a day. Wow. Uh, you know, making he got the whole factory, and so uh, they used to have a rapper. Uh, they used to have a rapper. Uh, you know, things didn't go well with the with the rap industry, and so they have some knowledge that 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 I needed uh, going forward in 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 this entertainment shit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so my partner flew in and and he flew in for one night uh, just to tell me something. Uh, you need to trademark your name. Wow. So uh, having that conversation. Uh, about trademarking my name, uh, and then you booked the trip to Vegas. Mm -hmm. So uh, I had already been having that conversation, man. I need some, I need some merch. I need some product. Uh, so I trademark not just my name, but uh, say, you know my sayings, game related, not gang related. Yeah, nan nanny boo boo, nan nanny boo boo, free free Keisha, free Keisha, uh, never ignorant, getting goals yeah, accomplished. Yeah, and, and you know, shout out to Tupac. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. like that. Uh, That's another I wanted to talk about. And so when I went to Vegas, uh, we was walking by, we was walking by clothes designers who we wear their clothes every day, but they look like regular people. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's I, right. Yeah, I saw people from all walks of life, and 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 the clothing industry is a trillion dollar industry. Correct. Uh, when black people buy clothes, they buy clothes by the billions of dollars mm -hmm. annually. Right, mm -hmm. spend billions That's on right. clothes annually. So uh, why not tap into something my people like doing? Wow, 
Yeah, nigga nation. The boy got nigga nation, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I definitely, I'm getting in these. You know, I carry these in the store too, guys. Y'all can come by and get you a t-shirt, man. Uh, dope. The the quality. I, I've been selling clothes for many, many years, and I know when I see something special. And then you know, I got into the textile industry by way of of Mr. Antonio Sales, uh, out of Nashville, Tennessee. So he brought me into the textile industry almost two years ago, where uh, you know I get I, I get cotton product at, at you know I get socks at seventy five cents a pound. Yeah. Uh, I get t-shirts for you know fifty cent. I get thermals for a dollar. I get beanie hats. I get these hats for. So he brought me into the textile industry, and so I started studying uh, textile product, cotton made material. Uh, Cotton is a product that grow out of the ground. Mm-hmm. Our ancestors picked cotton. Uh, we should be in the cotton business. There's okay. no business why we shouldn't be a wholesaler, uh, cotton distributor of selling t-shirts, socks, panties, and bras. And, and cotton is what made America a superpower. Man, you you dope. Every time I talk to you, I learn something too. You know, that's one thing I can say. I, I get I get some from. I guess it's like the rap music. You know, you be like, man, I don't want to hear it if it ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. When I when I interview you, I always get something from it, and it, I and and that's that's a good thing. It's, it's, it's five white families that control all the cotton product in America. Wow. So what does that tell you? They probably once owned slaves. That's right. Uh, China, China buys up the world's trash, the plastic, all the recycle. They take stuff like this and make nylon and silk. We make cotton on this end of the world. So we keep the cold climates warm with what we grow here. Uh, President Trump shut down the Gildan headquarters in Mexico and moved it to Haiti. Uh, Haiti is a, uh, that's our brethren country who we should be importing and exporting from, whether it's sending them vegetables and fruits and they sending us T-shirts, socks, jackets, hats, or, or whatever. So when I got into the textile industry two years ago, that opened my mind up uh, into having different streams of income, right? So I sell T-shirts, I sell socks, I sell hats, panties, bras, face towels. Uh, so that's just fucking with the textile uh when you came into the picture uh with all this here you and your wife making uh that's when it it hit me yeah oh uh, man i need to be branding uh, oh man you shit. you dope it ain't no ain't no reason for you not to your impact yeah. is so powerful not only and when you say branding for me i just know a lot of people get to be clothed yeah. In my mind, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. I don't look at it no other way. I don't look at it like, oh, this here. No, you providing a service to where you can help people to be clothed. If you yeah. really think about it and break it down, that's what it is. Yeah, well. Uh, and the cotton picker thing, it hit home. Yeah, well, if you think about uh, America is the youngest country in the world, mm-hmm. but it became a superpower. So China and, and Russia, all them other places, they have thousands of years of tradition. We come along with this new democracy, and, and, and the reason we was able to do that is because what grows here. Mm-hmm. So that's how America became this superpower continent is because of cotton and niggas picking cotton. Mm-hmm. And then came along the cotton gin. Once the cotton gin came, right, then America start industrializing. The factories up north, mm-hmm. the cotton down south. Yeah. Pick the cotton down here, send it up north, put the dye in it. You make jeans, T-shirts, all that. And that's what made America, America. Okay. Getting back to the shirts, where can we where can we get these at? TheRealCharlestonWhite.com. Okay, TheRealCharlestonWhite.com. Y'all got to pick you some of these up. You'll see the prices on there, and the price is right. You so, know what I mean? So, so I can't get in my plug, right? So... But there's a guy by the name of Mr. Sales. Okay. This man been doing this for 10, 10 years. Yeah, I remember you had told me about it. Man, this man got, he's selling T-shirts all over the country. T-shirts, uh, high visibility vests, uh, personal protective equipment gear. He got storage facilities in three different states. Man, that's the plug. The, okay. The, the sweatsuit. So you, all of our people making T-shirts uh Harry Hines, mm-hmm. uh, the 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 uh, the 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 Chinese district in Houston, where yeah. everybody going for wholesale prices, they all going to Tennessee. 
Wow. You, and, and you told me that now, and, and I'm definitely, I'm loving the fact that the info is real and that people can get this and they can, and they can start. How, how hard is it to start your own business now in these times? It's not, it's not hard at all. As far as with, oh. with, you know, whether it be on internet or hand to hand, how hard is it? it? It's not hard at all. Oh man, $250 can start a business. Okay. Okay. That, that, that 200, uh, a, Print press making cost two fifty. Yeah. Oh. Uh, a, a a phone that you own every day. You can start a business with that phone. With that phone. Man, that's dope, man. So I I, I man I I remember we talked about Mob James and everything in Vegas, man. Thank you for the interview. It did well. Yeah. Um. To be honest with you, I enjoyed it. I got so much feedback. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I'm back on again. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, well, uh, the, the 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 Vegas trip. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Did the, you enjoy it? Well, the Vegas trip made me feel like a celebrity. Man, them people loved you out there, man. Yeah, the yeah. people, hey, man, that's funny to me. They've been, I, I've been, they people been fucking with me, but the Vegas <laughs> trip, the Vegas trip made me go look in the mirror and say, "Yeah, nigga, you man, a celebrity." Yeah. I enjoyed it, man. When people was approaching you, I was like, man. You know, I like, dang, you know, and you the, people see me and be knowing me. I ain't yeah. going to lie. It's just because they watch you. One dude told me I wasn't turned up loud enough in Atlanta. He said, you got to turn up some more. You be dealing with Charleston, man. Everybody need to know you. I was like, yeah. they love you, man. So, man, that's a big thing, man. But th so this dude, I was watching. I seen it on, a little bit of it on your page, which made me go look for it, too. Uh, no jumper is that the yeah. guy Adam? Yeah, and before we talk about that white boy, man, I launched my website in August with these shirts, okay, and, and, and these hats. And uh, my first month, we almost did ten thousand dollars. Woo! Yeah, and, and so was you expecting to do that good? Uh, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. Y'all knew. Yeah, I, I, the, but when I, like I said, when I took the material and touched it and looked at it and seen what you was doing, I told, when I seen it, all the, not just Texas, but every state, uh, you can get this shirt, I knew already. I yeah. already, I already knew. I said, man, this thing ain't gonna take off. Yeah, Cause right. you got everybody looking for you and at what you're doing. And I got the website set up where uh, I can see. Uh, which social media site is generating the most money for me? Wow! So shout out to my Facebook people. Mm -hmm. uh, I probably did like two thousand off. Facebook. So you are selling on Facebook as man, well. Fa yeah, yeah, That's Facebook. Dope, man. Yeah. Uh, after the after the Vlad TV interview, I think like fifty, almost sixty thousand people visited the website. Wow. That, that's a lot, man. That so that I seen that that first day when you first when he dropped the first video, it was over two hundred thousand like that. Yeah, it didn't take but a second because he's so you know he got such a big platform and then you got such a big impact. It was like, dog, man, it, it's a no brainer, man. That what you're doing, man, is bringing. Hey, man, you're, it's growing. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I can't see it because I'm in the storm. Yeah, yeah, I, I can't see it because because I'm in the storm. Uh, but you know, I treat it every day like it's the last. Day. Hey man, that's what you're supposed to, yeah, Charles. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, so let's get back to this no jumper. I want to ask you about this guy because I just want I wanted to bring awareness to the clothing, but I, I wanted to ask about this. This is the only thing I got to ask really. Um, I seen that. Um, do you know that guy? Uh, that Adam, Adam guy? A Adam twenty two. No, I I, I never just, met him. I just heard about him this year. Yeah, uh, I've been seeing him for. I I seen his stuff. Because I, I watch, you know, I just strolling through the internet and I seen him, but I really never paid much attention to him. Me either. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really, uh, I'm new to the, uh, I'm like a kid that's been playing in the front yard. Mm -hmm. I've been on Facebook for the last five, six years, right? I'm the Facebook, I'm a Facebook nigga, you know, my local crowd. So I don't know, I don't know, I didn't know anything about YouTubers. I ain't know anything. I just really got hip to Instagram last year, right? Uh, so I ain't know nothing about none of these people. Okay. Uh, he sent me. He sent me an invitation to be on 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 No Jumper, probably around April May, if I remember correctly. Yeah. And uh, so then that's when I took notice of him. Okay. He, what would make him bring you? I know I know that Crip Mac guy uh, had been messing. They they linked up up there. That's yeah. a West Coast thing. What would make them bring your name up in their show like that? Oh, uh, well, he, he invited me to, you know, back then it was me and Bosco. Okay. Getting into it, you know. Uh, it was me and Bosco getting into it. So it would have been great for his number. Well, why you didn't, why didn't you go? Uh, 
my my spirit wasn't right. Uh, my you know uh, my my spirit what didn't move right. Okay. Uh, and then uh, I didn't know nothing about him. Okay. So yeah, yeah, I ain't just jumping to be on. Yeah. And yeah. no matter who yeah. it is, you you have to walk. And, and, and I were and I were of Vlad TV is the white boy. Yeah. He Correct. Was, yeah, yeah. Correct. And I, no he came boy. behind him, so I do know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now nah, ain't no white boy in the social media world better than Vlad. Vlad TV. TV. You right <laughs> to the niggas. <laughs> no, you right. Yeah, yeah to you the right. niggas. So <clears throat> I know. Uh, you. So so when I looked at Adam, I was like, oh no, nah, man, fuck, I'm gonna go on there for. Uh, but then I started asking around and said, no, nah, man, that'd be a good platform to go on. Well, in, in my mind. Uh, I had just got into it with with, with the A trade nigga, little Sody. Uh, so in my mind, they playing on me. Yeah, 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 yeah. In my mind, my spirit say, Nah, man, they playing on me. They go set you up. Now this this before this before this statement this was just made. Up. Yeah, cause I had just got I had got into it with Lil Sody. I had got into it with Wack One Hundred. I had got into I remember it with that. Big U. I had got into it with Bosco. Uh, man, I was man, I was. Say nigga was coming out the woodwork. You know, I was like Bruce Lee fighting everybody and, yeah. wh and winning and whooping everybody. Yeah, no, yeah, I seen yeah, it. Yeah, still yeah, is. yeah, yeah. I seen yeah, it. Still, so, so my spirit, man, I'm a nigga operating by spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my spirit wasn't right, man. So uh, if my spirit lead me to death, I won't feel bad. If yeah. I lead, yeah. But if I'm trying to get some pussy and, and chasing after money and I end up in a death trap, I'm going to be sad in the motherfucker. But if I'm walking in spirit and I walk into death, nigga, this meant to be. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. nah, I didn't go. So he hit me up again and say, uh, next time you in L.A., stop by. And I said, yeah. And I, and, and, and I was going to do it. Uh, just pop up on him and, and, and you know. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I was going to do, I was going to hire me some L.A. County sheriffs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you wrote, yeah. I would go, go get, man. I would go go get me the baddest motherfuckers of the baddest motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up under the baddest motherfuckers, the FBI. I was going to go get them L.A. County sheriffs that kick niggas in the ass. Make, no, no, yeah. no, no. I get it. And show up there and have everybody uncomfortable, smiling, doing the interview. And yeah, so that's what I They're was going to change their tone. Yeah, that's what I was going to do, right? So, yeah. uh, time go on, and and I wake up this morning. Uh, start a lovely motherfucking day, and by midday, uh, I get a, I get, I get this shit. Yeah, yeah, a nigga on the white boy platform. Yeah, talking that, about he'll set me up. AD, AD or something. Yeah, AD. Talk well, he can talk, well, he can talk down on me, you know. Do he have you? You don't, you don't, I don't, I don't know. I never I heard of this dude. Listen, Adam Twenty Two is the nigga. Yeah, that's the only one I ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Adam, I don't even know yeah. where them other dudes come from. They look kind of different. So I, I, I can dig the nigga dirty macking on me, right? I yeah. can dig him having some some unfavorable words and, and, and an unfavorable opinion about me, based you know the California Texas shit. And, and let me just say this. Them niggas can holler fuck Texas all day long. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah. Man, fuck them country bumpkin niggas. Man, it don't bother me. Nigga, you on a plantation just like I'm on a plantation. Yeah, you think your plantation different than mine. And it is. White folks treat us differently down here than they treat you niggas up there. They give us opportunities down here. You niggas ain't got none up there. Mm hmm So we arguing over... Y'all Texas nigga, we California niggas, and I'm saying cripping blood. Correct. What y'all doing to our race, my nigga? And it wasn't about y'all at first. It wasn't about California Crips and Bloods. It was about Crips and Bloods. Yeah. They it made about, it about them. They made it about them. What, do, why would they do that though? Well, you can't say slob. If you was up here, we'll do this to you. You using the word slob. You niggas is grown men tripping over a word. Yeah, I know you 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 talk against gang violence, but you used to be in uh, gangs. I once heard my mama say I was a wannabe gang member, and I said, "Damn!" I, I said that when I was on the phone with Melvin with Melvin Farmer. Man, I said mama, the same my thing. Mama, my mama said, "No, nah, nigga, I thought I was. I thought I was a." My mama said in a in a documentary interview, he was a wannabe gang member, and that it made me sit back. I was a wannabe gang member. Wow. I don't know one person ever died behind gang violence. I don't know one nigga ever been shot behind gang violence. I joined the gang for recreation in a boy's home. In a boy's home. 
No fight lasted over a minute and a half, two minutes. But we fought every day. Nobody got seriously hurt. When they all went to prison, they became friends. So how was we gang banging? Uh -huh. When we all grew up, you see what I'm saying? Nigga, yeah. We wasn't gang banging. I ain't wasn't in no motherfucking gang. I was in the boys' home just recreating, claiming a game. When I got home, home and, and I looked around in my community, it wasn't no gang banging in 98. I went in in 91. Gang banging was just starting. Wow. When I got in juvenile detention center in September 91, I had never seen a crip except on television. We used to see them, but we didn't know what they was. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until niggas was in juvenile up close and personal and seen Lil Rank. And all them niggas were falling behind Lil' Rank with the throwing up the funny hand sign. Man, what? That's, that's that, like on that movie. It wasn't until I got into the boys' home, the state school, where a nigga became educated about gangs. When I got older and came home, no gang. So I never gang bang, huh? Definitely. Now, this, um, the, the, the AD guy made the statement, say he gonna set you up. What was that all about? I mean, uh, a nigga in his feelings. <clears throat> I was just about to say that's exactly what it was. Feelings. A nigga in his feelings. He got feelings. emotions. Uh, a nigga who don't know me. A nigga who don't know me, and he the reason why I don't like California niggas. They'll go against their own kind. Wow. They created something for black people, right? So, do you think he was doing that for? Hold on, hold on, hold on. For? He, he was, he was, he was, he was talking to his, he was talking down to his own kind to a white boy. Yeah, That's homie, the yeah. Part he, he, listen, he on no jumper Adam twenty two. It don't say no jumper Adam hey. twenty two and AD in the crew. His name ain't nowhere on no platform on this white boy's platform. It's two niggas right there with the white boy. Yeah, I think. Phone or something. It, 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 name, listen, dude. listen, it's two niggas on there with this Pecklewood white boy. And the nigga say, I set him up. Now, I ain't done nothing to this nigga. I don't even know this nigga mad at me. I don't have no clue this nigga mad at me. He ain't said I done something to him. He ain't said I shot his dog. He ain't said I beat up his sister. He didn't say I cussed out his mama. He said I talked shit on the internet. And if he come here, I set him up. It's a nigga in his feelings. <clears throat> That's what he said. And he's saying it to a white man. But look what the boss tell him. Boss tell him, well, nigga, I want to interview the nigga so bad, i meet him in Motel 6 by myself without you, nigga. Because this is the Adam 22 No Jumper show. I ain't going to let you set him up. That's what the white boy I said heard in so him many words. In so many in, roundabout. In so many words. He exactly said, he I said. will meet him at the Motel 6 by myself. You won't set him up on my channel, is what the white boy Adam 22 told him in so many words. And then not only that, the same white boy who he on this platform say, I get this nigga killed, say, I agree with him. I heard that. And then he came around and he started. He came around little, and said I did was he, right. Did you think he came around because he felt the energy from Adam? No. Nah, or he just, nah. he already agreed listen, with you? Listen, homie. What's when, wrong with listen, it? Listen, when you got hate in your heart, it won't make sense. <laughs> okay. That's when you got statement. hate in your heart, you can't explain that. You just sound crazy. He just sounded crazy. He can't say, listen, all these niggas hollering about what they'll do to me. It's people in their real life who have done things to them that may warrant a response for them to do something back to them. They go overlook that to harm me for what I said, and they don't even know me. Wow. Do you think that Crip Mac, with him being on there, do you think that 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 made him think about you again because you and Crip no. Mac been going back, back Oh, well, well, Crip Mac. I didn't talk. really understand what the Crip Mac thing was about. Well, I ain't gonna made, lie. Man, man you, you got to keep in mind. I got to keep in mind. We all playing for numbers. Okay. We all playing for numbers. Charleston White and Crip Mac is trending like a motherfucker. Right now? Why not? Man, you got three point something million. Why not talk about Charleston and Crip Mac? 
it's going to make for a great response. But this white boy keep them niggas around him. To they getting it? exploited. They just was fighting up there the other day. So I always fights up there at his studio. Really? But he got to attach himself to the gang banging niggas because he speak on hip hop culture. Okay, yeah, because that's a gang thing. That, that's what they do. Well, in California, you got to, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you rapping, so you got to interact with the gang banging street niggas. So he got to figure out a way to make them niggas pander to him where they don't rob him, kill him, or exploit him. Okay. Ain't too many white boys gonna come provide him protection and his main topic is hip hop. Yeah, you are right. He gotta make nigga friends. He gotta make nigga friends that'll say, nah, man, don't y'all mess with my white boy, this is my partner here. And he can feel safe up there. So that's why he got the, that's why he got a West Coast presence. Yeah. Ain't too many people in the industry fooling with the West Coast. After the Tupac and Biggie shit, homie, they they over with. After Nipsey Hussle, yeah. they for sure over with. Nobody wants to deal with them. They made a they made a statement and they tried to bring it up Nipsey Hussle. They was like, well, he spoke on Nipsey. And I know you've told me about Nipsey the character and then the person, Aubrey, is it? Eremis. I, I, Whatever he is, he an Ethiopian I, dude. Eremis, you said that. And, and you always made that clear. But for some reason, people tend to not get it. Well, because uh, poor people love idols. These are poor people, and their idols are gods to them. Their, their idols are God, so they worship these idols. Wow. So to to attack these idols is 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 like attacking their God. Wow. So is 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 uh that Crip Mac dude, is he one of the idols? No, he a fucking retard that <laughs> makes for good goddamn entertainment. He like the goddamn me uh, like a good Taco Bell commercial. Yeah, no, nah, ain't nobody idolized no nigga that 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 yeah that's drinking old English eight hundred in twenty twenty one. I don't damn tattoos yeah. on his face. No, nah, nigga, just <clears throat> the fact that you got an old English eight hundred forty ounce bottle, nigga, and that's your choice of drink. Yeah, that's your choice of drink. No, nah, man, ain't nobody taking nobody like that serious. So they take advantage and, of him. Are they taking yeah, advantage? Yeah, man, listen, listen. As big as his numbers is. There's no fucking way he should be getting no motherfucking two hundred dollars for no interview. No, there ain't no motherfucking way. Everything for be twenty five hundred dollars off the top, minimally. Big as his name is, he can't get he can't get it going. They exploit man, it. Man, man, they they taking that. He taking his proceeds and feeding grown homeless dope fiend. Wow. Yeah, dumb, stupid motherfucker. He casting his pearls away to the swine. Well, how did how home. did he end? Up, how did you guys end up even having any any I'm, kind of way? I'm picking on him. Yeah, I saw he was. You a, seen him? Well, I saw he was a dumb, retard motherfucker, and I liked him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I liked that motherfucker. What, you shout out to him, say, nah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I just went to fucking with him. You know, like a girl who got a crush on a nigga. Yeah, I just went to fucking with him to get him my attention. Hey, look at me, nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I like you, nigga. And then he said something that hurt my feelings. Oh, what he say? It, it's it's a casket five me. Oh, okay. Now it got serious. No, nigga, it's a casket five all of us. Yeah, we all got to get in the casket. Why, why has this got to be one for me? Yeah, I got mad. And the motherfucking nigga just want to say it's a casket for me. Yeah, fuck you, nigga. Yeah, and I went to picking on him because he hurt my feelings. It's yeah. hard to hurt your feelings. Yeah, that nigga hurt because I liked him. I genuinely liked him, and he rejected me. Yeah, I don't take rejection good. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nigga don't reject me. <laughs> well, I just, I definitely, man, I know already. I, I don't, I don't know them guys, but I do know that. I don't know that, them But, but no jumper. I mean, he seemed to have a, 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 a prospering, productive show where he's yeah. getting views and I, he's growing. And I, I, I've been I, seeing him for years, man. I, I fuck with the white boy. Yeah, yeah he yeah, seemed yeah, like he, yeah, 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 I think Vlad did. Him. Vlad interviewed with him one well, time. Well, he's a California, he, you know, he's a California white boy. They don't know nothing about us niggas. No, not down here. Yeah, not they don't, down they don't him. know nothing about Southern niggas. Uh, that yeah. boy said it, the one that was on that no phone, he didn't know nothing. The one that, the little uh, boy with the yellow hat, he didn't know nothing about no Texas, no nothing. He was playing the role of, hey, man, uh, well, that, just, that, I don't know nothing. 
that's what's wrong with the dumb California <laughs> boy. They just dumb and stupid. They don't know nothing but Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood, streets, avenues, and they, they homie, they fucked up out there. Yeah. And it's not a lot of opportunity for them. Wow. Them niggas stuck. They choices and they decisions destroy them so early in life, homie. Them niggas stuck. Them niggas ain't got, them niggas can't kill nobody at 14 and, and, and get a job at Parkland Hospital. No, nah, they can't. They can't do drive that. trucks for Exxon and go get in them. Them niggas, man, them niggas fucked up. And them niggas are crippled because their state government keeps them dependent or give anybody food stamps. Them niggas can play for any type of government entitlement. So them niggas just eat out the hand of their state government. Wow. Wow. So that's why they look to rob everybody. Fuck you over over your weed. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's why them niggas try to exploit. If you want to shoot a video there, if a rapper try to come perform, it ain't no opportunities from them niggas. That's why it's so much easy to gang bang. Yeah, yeah. I it ain't it. nothing else to do but kill each other. And they do it with pride. That's the coldest thing about it. They do it with pride. They do it with pride. Yeah. From the old to the young. Yeah, yeah, and they and 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 it's something they say is structured, but it's, it's, it ain't structured. But that's what they try to try it's to allude to that the Crips and the Bloods is structured, and that's how they. And no, I'm the, like, no, it, it ain't structured. That's why they killed Raymond Washington. It ain't structured. Wow. Yeah, it ain't. It ain't. Ain't nobody listening to nobody. That's why it's Crip against Crip, Blood against Blood, Blood, blood against Crip. It ain't no structure. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. it was some structure, from what we hear. The dude that killed Nipsey Hussle, they went and killed his family. Yeah, his I family, heard about his that. His family didn't have nothing to do with Nipsey Hussle getting killed, but they just went and killed his family. I heard that. What's, what's, come on, homie. Me and them niggas wake up to die, and they live to kill in the name of Crip and Blood. Yeah. If you, when you go up and down them places, they don't. They ain't got no legalized dispensary. The Mexicans got all the dispensaries. They ain't got no Crippin' Blood tie shops. They don't have nothing. They can't even get a movie out about Raymond Washington. They, they ain't got nothing. So when I started fucking with Crip Mac, I started fucking with him but saying, say, nigga, get you a bobblehead. Say, nigga, don't get you some T-shirt. Get you some product. Trying Say, to give him good game. I'm dropping game on a nigga because I'm seeing the numbers he doing. Wasn't nobody giving me the game. No, you just trying to give back, really. So I'm really snarl, nigga. It ain't no reason you ain't supposed to be getting down there $10,000 a month in your numbers. Ain't nobody showing you how to do your intro, your outro to your video. No. You going on all these big platforms. Come on, homie. You better trademark your name. You got three weeks or I'm going to take it from you. I'm going to copy you. Said, was that a serious statement? Yeah. You didn't see me call my people. You said you better go on and take his name. Yeah. And go ahead and make the money off of it. No, nah, I'm just going to take it. Just take it to have it and shelf it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Just and, shelf it. Until they say I'm sorry. Until he say he want to be my friend. <laughs> then you let him come I out. I get back to him. Say, listen, you got a bunch of people around you don't know nothing, C-Mac. Wow. Trademark your name, my nigga. Five, five, crib. Trademark that, nigga. Copyright that. Wow. Copyright that, nigga. I agree with that. 100%. And and that's what got them niggas stirred up. I don't know why. They they love to come down. and They're going to be mad at that too, Archie. But they <clears> love <throat> to come down and say, Charleston White. I, I, I've seen it ever since I stepped this, in the this game. This why, though. This why. Because of the impact he has. It got to be. Why. It, and that's the only thing I could see because of the way that they respond to you. Like I said, your name came up on there. That's why I asked you about it. I don't know the No Jumper guy. I, I always seen his channel, and I thought it was very professional. But when I heard what I heard today, I well, didn't listen, see the professionalism well, well, nah, in it. Nah, nah, hold on, it hold seemed on, like hold it on. swung out of the out hold of on, place. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No Jumper kept his a professional stance. He it's did. It's the nigga. Yeah. The nigga. What's in your heart shall come out of your mouth. mouth. I ain't the only nigga he hate. Yeah. That is a hateful place of black people who hate one another. Why would I expect him not to hate me? And he said it's sober. 
That's what they do in California. So? He said it's over. The Hoovers hate the, the, the 60s. The 60s hate the gangsters. That's what they do. Wow. Crip Mac got Hoover killer on his forehead. That's what they do. They live amongst each other with hate. They can't walk three streets that way. They can't walk four streets that way. They can't go two blocks that way because it's a line of hate with the enemy. So when he get on there and profess hate for me, and I'm speaking out against what they represent, hate for black people. So Adam ain't wrong. He don't know that man got that hate in his heart and that man was going to openly profess that hate You're on right. his platform. Because he tried to clean it up. Adam wasn't wrong. Adam say, hey, well, well, don't I think it's kind of senseless and crazy that guys is dying over these streets. And he said it in a way, Definitely in did. white boy language. Yeah, yeah he, he said it he in did. pink toe language. And the nigga is in hateful nigga language. I, I, I kill, that's what we, what, what do we rap about? Killing niggas. Yeah. We ain't singing, what do a brother do? We ain't singing that kind of shit no more. <laughs> so when I see another black man like AD, that's why I don't like California niggas. Yeah. That's why I don't like California niggas. I'll put a nigga in jail before I kill him. Yeah, yeah. I ain't going to make your mama cry. He said he'll set you up, though. That's that nigga said, I'll like, set him I up. Set him I'll up. set him up, too, with three bad bitches and an alcohol bottle. <laughs> what he said, i set him up. I, I, I tripped out off that. That was real, and it was harsh. Oh, man. The it devil, was harsh. Oh, man, it made me. Yeah, yeah, I like to hurt. Man, I love to evoke that kind of shit out of a nigga because I know he been watching me. Yeah, yeah. When I know a nigga feel like that, he don't watch, he don't watch me more than one time. Yeah, he's When high. I tap into you like that, that nigga, you been following me. He in them comments. And you used to like me, and I said something to hurt your feelings. That's the only thing got a nigga hating a nigga like that. That's why uh, you hate your baby mama, because you once used to like her. You don't hate nothing you don't used to like. Real talk. Think about that nigga Real once talk. used to like me. Had to be what he's talking. Yeah, he's emotional. Man, listen, you can't hate nothing you ain't never liked. Wow. Hey, that's Charleston White, y'all, man. Hey, man. Say, man, thank you for coming on the show, man. Oh, it's always a man, pleasure, man. You are, man, anytime you come, anytime you pull up, man, it's always love, bro. You always come through, and you and, and, and you give some good game, man. These niggas need, hey, y'all better tap in, man. If y'all ain't been, you hid under a rock somewhere. Hey, this man, hey, hey, giving you something you can use, man, gonna take you somewhere, man. Hey, and then, listen, I got the, I got the, uh, I got the Letterman jackets coming. Really? I got the nigga nation Letterman jackets coming. I got the nan nanny boo boo. Uh, college sweaters with the with the furry patch, uh, like the real polo. You need to uh, bring, send it. Man, hey, bring them to me. The, I'm host. Hey, bring me some over here. Uh, I got to have them. Say I got the ugly Christmas sweaters. Uh, yeah, yeah. Nah, Damn man. I got it. yeah. I got some shit coming, man. Down. I can't down wait, the pipeline, man. man. Like I said, and, and you know I'm gonna have it over here. Yeah, I got to have it, man. Cause at the end of the day, man, we gonna hey, we pushing together, man. I love the I love the merch, man. Yeah, and then love them, it. them never ignorant getting goals of company beanie hats. Them beanie oh, yeah, hats. Beanie hats coming. Yeah, I got. I wore that on. Vlad. You so did. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah they you did. Right sure yeah. did. Sure did, man. Well, thank you for coming on the show, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. Yes, sir.